going to need to come and see you very soon. And I walked away feeling really informed. And I really love that about you guys because, you know, dealing with braces and everything that comes along with it is scary for a parent. We're worried about the cost, all that good stuff. You guys do a great job of explaining things. Thank you. Absolutely. So, so let's talk about what you do at Te Texas Orthodontics. Who do you see over there? Texas Orthodontics, we see from 7 to... I would say 70, but it could go past that. Okay, okay. Because today, it doesn't matter if you're a child, an adolescent, or an adult. Everyone wants a beautiful smile. Man, they do, okay? right? I it's, know. Exactly. When I, when I was growing up um, in South Texas, uh, first of all, there was no orthodontist in Beeville, Texas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, s second of all, you know, it was maybe a little bit more affluent children who... Uh, had an opportunity for braces. Right. Uh, at Texas Orthodontics, we made a decision, uh, a cognitive decision to change that so that really anyone, n regardless of where you grew up, right. what your age is, that you can afford uh, braces. So we just provide the highest quality, the most affordable okay. orthodontic treatment by uh, a board certified specialist. Period. And when you look around, you'll find that what Dr. Hurst is saying is absolutely true. I know you guys have a lot of different options for people. Grown-ups who want straighter teeth, you see grown-ups all the time. All the time. And kids, too. And, and they're really who we're focusing on this morning. If you've got a kid who's ready uh, to get into braces, you've got to think about changing their diet a little bit and right. not packing certain things because we don't want to destroy the beautiful work that you're doing. Right. What are some foods that kids who have braces should not be eating? You know, as a, as, a, as a mom or as a dad or even as an adult, if you're packing your lunch, mm -hmm. okay, which you probably don't do, but <laughs> if, if people do that, what, what you want to do is you want to you really look at, you, you still need your nutrition, okay, okay, but you want things that are going to be a little bit softer and not crunchy, okay? okay? You, can you have a candy bar? Yes, but probably not a Snickers that's been in the refrigerator for a while, okay? Okay, because that's going to that's gonna break some things off. And as we discussed last time, we had four different types of, of, of tools that we could use to straighten mm -hmm. your teeth. One of those Invisalign, right. which then you can do anything you want to. Sure. Okay. Uh, if you're wearing braces of, of, one of one of the types of braces, then you just, you've just got to be careful. If it's, if it's crunchy, mm -hmm. break it up. Okay. For an apple. Little bites, little bites. A, an, an apple is awesome. But you don't want to bite into an apple because it's going to take your braces off. Oh, awful. Okay. Now, do, please gum? don't do that if, if you want <laughs> yes. your braces off. Uh, what about gum? I always hear, mm -hmm. like, you're not supposed to chew gum. Is that okay these days? I have, I have two answers for that okay. one. Okay. Okay. Gum is a great cleaner. Okay. okay. It's great if you... Well, I never looked at it that way, but you're it, right. It, I it, like that. It really is. If, if you have a sugarless or a sugar-free okay. uh, gum, it really cleans. Okay. okay. Now, here's the problem. Uh, you can't get the big old double bubble okay. and put it in and start chomping on that because what happens as you're biting, it's going to wrap around all the braces and the wire and everything, and it may clean the braces off of your teeth. <laughs> we don't okay. want that. So, we don't. so you know, if you're if you're going to have a small piece of gum and you're going to do it, uh, you know, uh, cautiously, mm -hmm. I I don't mind. I tell my patients stay away from gum sticky, gooey things, okay? If you go to the movies, I love popcorn, milk duds, that's my movie, yeah. okay? Just wait till you get your braces off. You, you, wait till you get your braces <laughs> off, because milk duds are the worst. I, I, I want to, all great information, but I want to touch on something that you guys are doing in the community, because not only are you offering great services uh, here in San Antonio, you're also giving back, and you're taking care of kids at Boysville mm -hmm. and offering them uh, a, a better smile on your own. Yeah. Well, you know, at Texas Orthodontics, uh, last year we initiate, initiated a smile share program. Mm -hmm. uh, the first recipient of that was uh, a young lady, Crystal, f from uh, Boysville. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I was raised to be thankful for what you have and also give back from what you receive. Yeah. And uh, so we're fortunate in what we do. We get to help give people beautiful smiles every day. So this is just the beginning of our uh, give back to San Antonio, give back to the community. It's just a small token, but it is a token that we want to elaborate on and to continue. Because, uh, and, and again, we want everybody. It doesn't matter where you grow up, what your means are. We want everyone to have a chance to have a beautiful smile. 
You guys are doing it. Yes. Absolutely. And I want to give the viewers the information because you guys do such great things here in San Antonio. Uh, if you are the person who needs braces or you're investigating for your children, contact Texas Orthodontics. They're here in San Antonio on Fredericksburg Road. Their phone number is 354-3131. Again, 354-3131. And you can find them on Facebook and Twitter online at TexasOrthodontics.com.